Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing great today. Appreciate those of you watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And this is taking place a day after Christmas. So I hope you all had a great Christmas. And I hope you're going to have a great New Year as it's around the corner as well. And hey, if you're not watching it now and you're watching like two or three years later or weeks later, hope you're having a great day. So let's talk about uh, this show with Bill Murray called Scrooge. It came out in 1988. And uh, this is kind of like a retro review for me. Um, I come up with these uh, reviews every once in a while. It's where I've seen a movie a long time ago and give my opinions of how I felt about that movie back then. And then I rewatch a movie in today's time period and see if my opinion had changed about the movie and what changes I felt like uh, it, it had made over, you know, a year because you know i was younger and now i'm older seeing things in a different light so it has been a while since i've seen scrooged it came out in 1988 i don't think i saw it in 1988 i probably saw it in like 1990 had it been on vhs maybe on tv uh when i did see it as my younger self uh being a big bill murray fan i of course love bill murray in this i thought he was fantastic um and I really enjoyed the ghost. You know, I, my favorite one is the ghost, the present ghost uh, with Carol King. Uh, I thought she did a marvelous job. She was quirky and uh, she's always slapping Bill Murray around. I love the chemistry those two had. Um, so that was my favorite uh, part at the time, being younger and stuff. Um, but has my opinion changed in uh, today's world? Uh, for those who don't know what Scrooge is about, it is a take on Charles Dickens, a Christmas Carol novel he wrote. Um, it's about a producer, um, Bill Murray, who's redoing the story, but him himself gets caught up in this uh, and seeing these three ghosts. And um, even though he's not Scrooge per se, he doesn't really care about Christmas. His character is basically like Scrooge from A Christmas Carol, as he's. Uh, as he's revisiting his past and seeing what's going on in the present and what will happen to him if he doesn't change his ways, da 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 da, da that kind of stuff. Um, but I did like this take on the Charles Dickens. It's more modern. It's still kind of, even though it's in 1988, what's that? Uh, quick math, 22, 22 plus 23, 45 years ago. Uh, I think the stuff going on there still applies today. You got this guy who's in TV. Uh, it's very fascinating that all of his christmas stuff going on at the time was very violent which was a uh take on the violence that was going on on in uh, movies and such in the 80s you know you had those schwarzenegger and and uh stallone movies or blowing stuff up all over the place you know i remember seeing all these news reports that people see more murders than anybody else just from the fake murders on the tv by watching these movies and stuff so like uh it was a kind of like a take a criticism critique on the violence going on in media such as tv shows and movies at the time uh seeing that it was kind of brought back those memories seeing uh seeing this movie this time and around uh plus you got that corporate corpor corporism is that right corporism you know trying to do whatever to make lots more money and stuff like that uh and how uh, the good gag here was the future of having pets watch TV and trying to get uh, television shows and commercials sent around animals such as dogs and cats for them to watch TV. It was uh, it was kind of funny. Um, I kind of liked it though because uh, you got a lot of people nowadays who, will, who instead of having children, they will call their dog or their cats their kids. And so they will buy stuff for their kids buy toys and stuff for their pets so in a way you know i guess he was kind of predicting the future by centering around centering you know some t television programs around animals uh but uh this movie i feel like it was still funny uh the first 10 to 15 minutes though i feel like it's kind of lost and like it doesn't know what it's one what it wants to be is like it's kind of a mess in my opinion the first 10 to 15 minutes of this movie it really starts to really congeal and starts to be a great movie or very good movie once the ghosts start to appear it's where the movie finally finds out what it wants to be what it's all about is once you get the ghost of the christmas uh, pass into his life 
And then um, that's just when the movie really takes off and starts to become really good. Before then though, to me, it's like, it's just a mess of a movie. Like even Bill Murray doesn't really seem like what kind of character he wants Scrooge to be at that time. Um, and I don't know how they shot the movie. I don't know. Cause you know, when they make a movie, they don't do, uh, they don't make, make it from beginning to end, like to shoot it from beginning to end. They skip around the shots of the movies and stuff like that. Like sometimes the very last scene might be shot on the very first day and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the first of this movie, you know, Bill Murray doesn't seem like he really knows what kind of character he wants his, uh, his character to be. Uh, but once the ghosts get there, everything comes together and it comes a fun movie to watch. Uh, to me, though, the character, the actor, you know, in today's, while I was watching here recently, the actor that really steals the show uh, and outdoes everybody is Bobcat Go. I don't know. I can never pronounce his last name. Uh, Looking here, Bobcat Goldthwait. Wait, is that how you say his name? I know it's Bobcat Goldweight. Goldweight. Uh, my, I'm screwing it up. Uh, this is why, if you've seen my videos, reviews in the past, I never name the actors uh, on my videos. I always type them down because I can never get them right. Especially since I do a lot of foreign films and stuff like that, I don't want to screw up their names because. Uh, People these days, uh, they get very sensitive. If you don't know how to pronounce somebody's a foreign name, they call you racist and stuff like that. And now here I am, I'm screwing up this guy's name. So I could probably get all these people calling me racist because I can't pronounce his last name. Um, maybe I won't be called too racist because it looks like it's a Jewish name and they you get you don't get too hard of a criticism. You can't pronounce a Jewish name. But anyways, good old Bobcat from... Uh, to me, he always will be the, the gangster, the gang member from uh, Police Academy. But anyways, he does a fantastic job in this. He steals the show. He is basically the highlight of Scrooge. Like every scene he's in is like gold and stuff. Uh, man, he was just fabulous in this. And then I would say the second best actor in this movie is Bill Murray. I mean, he is the star. Of course, he gets like, it's probably what, an hour and a half movie. He gets like hour and 29 minutes of the movie is he's in it uh however every scene with bobcat is great and the uh, chemistry between bobcat and bill murray in this is fantastic um you know um so i really did enjoy that uh so does this movie still hold up today and is it still a great movie um, I don't know if it's great, but I do recommend this. It's a good movie uh, to watch around Christmas time. It has a great message, you know, especially at the end. It's all about, you know, uh, doing, um, using your Christmas spirit all year round. Help that you shouldn't just help people just because it's Christmas time and serve people just because it's Christmas time, but you should use that attitude throughout the year. And if you did that, the world would be a better place, which is the ending song. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed it. I think I would recommend this as a good, solid Christmas movie to watch. Uh, I guess, like I said, the only negative part is the beginning, but once you get that good old taxi ghost, the ghost of Christmas pass in there, it's all good. That's still some cringe stuff with the ghost of Christmas pass. Um, but, uh, it's not that bad, really. And, um, uh, so you do a movie where the ghost of christmas future really has a good part oh and before i end this i would say like the uh the makeup in this uh show movie is fantastic like when you see his uh past boss come visiting like that whole makeup they do there is fantastic um and uh very well done high praise with that i mean it was very well realistic to me anyways and i really enjoyed it and uh you know, he shoots him, he's drinking wine, and wine's coming out of his body and all that stuff. That's great. You got the guy who gets frozen and underneath the sewer. Uh, I guess he's in a sewage, sewer. And uh, there's the other uh, cosmetic, cosmetic uh, makeup stuff. Uh, man, terrible at speaking. But yeah, everything like uh, on that level is this top notch. You can't beat it anywhere else. Uh, it is really well done. Um, today they probably would try to use like a, a green suit and stuff like that, you know, CGI, but 
Uh, that's why I like the 80s because they did everything, uh, either use models or like makeup and stuff, and it looked more uh, physical, more real. You know, today everything looks 2D because it's all CGI-ish. Uh, but yeah, the makeup that they did is awesome. And it's just, if you go and watch, if, you, if you're somebody who wants to get in that kind of business, uh, this would be a great movie to watch and see how well they did that. Uh, anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Until the next video, uh, bye.